<clears throat> so here here it is week 29 it's amazing that i can say that like wow week 29 29 weeks of making videos vlogging my progress my responsibilities my my mindset all that stuff um what i what i found is that it's incredibly slow process uh doing it week by week but also like my progress is contingent upon the way that i feel that day right and so uh today i feel okay um i just finished shooting uh the podcast episode eight um with cameron and his sponsor ben and it was a really good time i just went and seen nate um you know been been sticking hard to my diet and i'm getting ready to go in here and eat real quick uh you know um so i'm not gonna do stuff perfectly and i'm not gonna do stuff um i don't you know i don't know like like what i'm learning is uh I don't know I don't you know I don't want to talk badly about Avery and I don't want to talk I just want to be honest about where I'm at right like becoming the highest version of myself means I need to be completely honest about the way that I feel and things that I see and so um, I've I've often wondered what uh, my time at home would look like compared to what her time at home would look like and now that I get to be at home it looks a lot different my home looks a lot different you know um, and and it's not it doesn't feel like we're splitting the it's not like we're splitting the, the chores now you know um, I uh, can go through and, and clean the entire house and get it presentable and feeling comfortable um, in a matter of an hour or two, uh, that includes, you know, feeding kids, getting them dressed, taking care of myself, like masturbating, all that, you know, getting that out of the way. But, um, it seemed like for a long time she couldn't do that stuff in a week. And so, uh, you know, what I'm doing is trying to get a, a, a real feel of what my home life is like honestly right and and what burdens do i carry what burdens does my partner carry and what do i want my home life to look like you know uh it seems like i kind of enjoy being there without her more than being there with her now now fucking trust me when I say I hope that this changes um, I hope that, that because I'm honest about it and I'm trying some different stuff like like I'm, I'm trying to the, the just the friend bit right because the sexuality has been so closed um, that now it's awkward right now it's now it's awkward and so the idea of, of having sex like seems inconvenient because I can just go and jerk off and be done I can go do the dishes right and so um, for a long time it has felt like all she wants to do is be friends like in and, and I shared last week that I recognize that she probably knows that, that that's like I imagine she feels like because I am such a nice guy and I am a great father and I am all these I have all these attributes of, of what a good partner is um, that she should feel like she wants to be with me and unfortunately like her behavior shows that she doesn't and so um, I have to accept that and I think she has to accept that now now that may be a funk it may be an illusion it may be you know the stuff that, that's going to change um but for right now it is what it is and um being the highest version of myself i have to be honest about how i feel and, and what i see 
And so that's what I see and that's how I feel. And so tonight I'm going to go to a meeting down in Salt Lake. I'm going to go in here and eat and then and then go to a meeting in Salt Lake mm -hmm. rather than go home and, and feel uncomfortable and and all that stuff. I'll just I'll just wait. I'll just stay away for a while. And tomorrow I got some projects to go do. But uh, man, like sacrificing what's the right you know what's the right thing to do that's that's the hard question what is the right thing to do right because um if she's holding on i don't know i don't know what the right thing to do is the highest version of myself will be honest open and willing and if the questions are asked then i will answer but i'm not going to push the issue i don't need to um I'm ready to have hard conversations and I'm, I'm ready to do hard things. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go eat and, um, yeah, love myself as best I can. Okay. See you next week.